Hey, what's up and how's it going? My name is Toby and in today's video, we're going to take a look on how to use Unity's Universal Rendering Pipeline in combination with AR Foundation and the Lightship ARDK. So in this um, project here, I got a very simple setup, just a normal standard 3D project. I installed Lightship, uh, the Lightship ARDK and I've just created a very simple scene using uh, meshing where you can just place down objects, they will cast a nice shadow. And if we build this on our phone, everything looks the same uh, as you can see here. All right, so now if we wanna upgrade to the universal rendering pipeline, we would go to a window package manager and then go to the Unity registry and enter uh, universal, universal, oops, universal, like that. And then we would have universal RP and would simply hit uh, install. All right, so once this has finished, we can go to create and then go to rendering and select the URP asset with universal renderer. And now we could potentially add it to our um, project settings in our graphic settings. Let's just click on here and select this one. So this will change the rendering pipeline to the new asset we have created. Okay, so this would be the situation also if we you would just start out with the URP uh, project. But the problem is if we hit now play, well, the screen stays black and things look quite weird. So we can see the meshing going on, but there's no image feed and also the materials look all weird. And so what we need to do in order to solve that is we need to go to our pipeline asset renderer and we want to add a renderer feature, um, which is basically the AR background renderer feature. So once we've added this feature to our um, pipeline asset, we can click play again. And now we can see that, um, yep, the video feed is back on and this is the same on device. But of course the meshing is still uh, pink. So of course what we would need to do then is we need to go to our materials, for example, this red material that I have over here, go to edit, rendering materials, convert selected, built into URP. And so for example, for the material of uh, the sphere that we are placing, this works. However, if we know no mesh prefab, we see that here should be a shadow catcher material. And this is the one from the Lightship ARDK samples. But this one is not even showing up in our assets anymore because it's using some kind of shader that is not longer working. So for this one, if we want to have shadow catching in uh, AR using URP, there's actually a pretty nice asset in the Unity Asset Store. It's um, by Def Dunk Studios. Let's quickly find it um, in our um, assets. Okay, so here it is, Shadow Receiver URP free. Of course, there will be a link in the description so we can just download and import it. And then in our assets, let's go to DevTank Studio, Shadow Receiver URP, then demo, and then there's materials. So then we can take the Shadow Receiver, for example, and just drag this one onto our meshing prefab. And now if we click play, everything should be working again. So let's find out. Okay, so we do not have um, any kind of pink materials. And if we click somewhere, yep, we're here again. Of course, we need to adjust the shadow quality a bit in our settings, but that's the way that you make your P work with Lightship and AR Foundation. Okay, so there's one more thing I wanna show you. If you install Lightship, then you can also just search for URP. And if we click on this little eye icon here, then, um, and search everything, so that sometimes things might be hidden, then you will find the Lightship URP renderer already um, here. So you wouldn't need to create a new um, render asset actually if you're inside of URP. And also if you are using any kind of occlusion, then you will also need to go um, to back to the um, render pipeline asset renderer and also add uh, the 
a light chip occlusion extension. All right, so that's it for this video. A quick tip. I hope it was uh, useful for some of you guys and thanks a lot for watching and see you next time.